Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll be giving you an update on the Kaduna train um, attack. Uh, more details are beginning to emerge uh, concerning that particular incident. On the show this morning, we have Gideon Gambo joining us. He is a brother to one of those kidnapped during the incident, and uh, he is here to uh, give us some testimonials and um, let us know exactly what the issues are and um, if um, the bandit have actually made demands and um, all of that. Good morning to you, Gideon Gambo. Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Hi, good morning. My name is Gideon Gambo. Thanks for having me. Yes, it is indeed our pleasure. Uh, looking through the dailies uh, this morning, what we read, uh, what we uh, see is that um, there's some um, terrorists uh, are beginning to contact, uh, you know, relatives of um, the victims um, that they have in their custody. Uh, we understand that your brother uh, is one of them, unfortunately. Uh, have you been contacted and um, what um, are the demands have been made by these terrorists? Yes, yesterday, um, yesterday morning, um, the police came to because a very brief call. Yeah, we were just able to speak to, to my brother, one of my brother, and he confirmed that um, the other one was alive, and also the lady that worked with him was alive. Um, like I said, it was a very brief call. We were unable to uh, to talk for a very long time. So um, I think the bandit just told us that they would call us back, and up to now we've been waiting for the call back. Uh, we understand that um, two of your brothers um, were kidnapped um, in that um, particular attack. Uh, you said that from what I just inferred from other, you said that you were contacted and they allowed you to speak with your brothers? Yes, yes. I was just the one that was that to them directly. It was um, my brother's um, boss that spoke to them, that spoke to them directly. So, you know, he had it recorded, he just took it to me, and I listened to what they said. So, so what did they uh, say? We're still waiting for... Okay, when they called, uh, because my brother Jesse, that was the one, was the one who spoke um, with his boss. Um, and the, uh, his boss asked him that um, hope they're okay, he said yes. Then he asked him of the other people if they were alive, and he said yes. After that, the the bandits just stopped the call. They said they would call back. All right, uh, uh, Gideon. Let's uh, from what we understand. Um Reporters saying that and they are asking some of the victims to you know convert uh, you know from their faith. Uh, is there anything like that happening? Uh, what uh, your, the condition your brothers are in? Are they okay? Are they in good health? What exactly? You know what's the situation really? Well, this situation right now is not um, something that um, I would want anyone to go through. Yes, I think for me, these guys are like my best friends. Like, we do everything together. And at first, I actually thought I could hold on very well. But trust me, it's really getting on me right now. And um, likewise, the families of the people that um, their loved ones are part of the ones that were abducted. And everyone is just keeping fingers crossed, waiting for the next call. To hear what demands are. I know friends and family have been calling me and night, me and night to ask what are these things we called you, what are the demands and all that. I was able to speak to, to a cousin, to one of the girls that was um, abducted also, and they were like, okay, they're still waiting for, for them to call them back and to speak their demands. Okay, so far, uh, the authorities are aware. Uh, so, have you uh, been in touch with the authorities concerning this later development and, and what are they saying? What I asked, let me just repeat. Uh, you said that you have gotten uh, some sort of a communication uh, with uh, this um, bandit. Have you informed the authorities and uh, what are they saying to your family? Have I what? Have you have you informed the authorities? 
Okay, yes. Um, because I, I, I was able, I spoke to my dad, I spoke to my mom, I spoke to everybody. In fact, yes, on Tuesday, we went around all the hostels with my uncle, so my uncle and a friend, family friend, to check um, their body. Uh, there, Gideon, I'm not sure you quite under Gideon, you didn't quite understand what I asked you. I was asking, have you informed the police, uh, the authorities concerning this latest development I'm hearing from your Oh okay. That's no, what no, I meant. No, 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 no. no so no, so no. so why haven't no, you involved I the police? I mean, that. why have you not um involved the men of the Nigerian police? You're saying that this has not been reported to the police. Your siblings were kidnapped uh, during that attack that happened. Uh, the Abuja Kaduna train, and you're saying that you or members of your family have not contacted the men of the Nigerian police to report this. Well, and um, by God's grace, um, we have um, friends um, in the military and also in the Nigerian police, and also some in politics. So, and most of them are aware. I got called from one of the general secretary like and. Uh, they were able to just tell us to just to come. They are, they are on the top. They are on top of the matter. They're working and they're doing everything possible to rescue my brothers and other people. So I, I felt it wasn't necessary to go to the police because um, my brother in question is someone that um, is a known face. Anyone who flies, who rides on the Kaduna budget train knows him very well. So yeah, already most people are aware of what's happening. I just felt okay. Um, since I've got calls from this personnel, I think it's fine. I don't need to go for that to report this thing. Yeah. Okay. So, um, is there any information as regards, um, you know, the, this kidnappers? I mean, the whole incident that happened, uh, the attack. Did your brothers? Uh, or your brother, any of them, did they speak to you as regards um, the kidnapping incident and what transpired? We're trying to understand, you know, what happened. If you can, you know, be very explanatory and very explicit, you know, with your answers. When I went to the train station on Tuesday, I was fortunate to meet um, two persons who survived. And also, um, yesterday, I got a voice note um, from one of the different to one of the drivers, and and she was explaining what really happened. And in fact, funny enough, the the number the number they used to call my brother's boss was the driver, one of the drivers, uh, one of the twin drivers' uh, number. Then he told me that when the, when the call came in, um, it was showing um, the name of the driver, of the driver. So, and yesterday from the conversation I had with um, one of the ladies who walked in the train, she was explaining to me that um, they are not sure if the driver is alive. And also, um, from her voice you notes, know, she started making an understand that uh, those who resisted those who try to run, among the abductees, that they, they just shoot them and maybe dump their body or they carry their body along. So, right now, we're just hopeful that uh, my brothers and every other person in the camp of the big boys will, will just keep, keep calm and not do anything that will jeopardize their life. Okay, so, well, um, there's several conversations, I mean, reports around that those who were actually on board, I mean, on that particular train were working with these bandits, more like informants. Uh, did your brother actually mention any of this information in the, in the course of relating with you? No, 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 not at all. All right, May, thanks. Gideon Gambo, thank you so much for being part of the breakfast this morning. We do appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right, then. All right, uh, we'll just take a very quick break. We'll still stay on the Cardona train attack, uh, but more insight this time around concerning um, ticket racketeering. It is not the first time. It came up sometime last year, and um, there was some talk about it. 
It's as though it has been swept under the carpet. And then again, from what we hear, the number of people on the train were not, were even more than those who actually purchased them tickets. That, uh, that's the information that we uh, are getting right now. We'll talk more on that and we have um, a guest joining us in a moment to tell us more. Stay with us on The Breakfast.